Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create some extreme glitch effects using the wave distort filter, particularly on the square wave mode. So let's open up your photo that you want to work with, and I'm going to show you guys all the different ways you can experiment with this. Now, just as good practice, I'm going to right click my layer and convert it to a smart object so that I can add smart filters to it, which just means when I go to filter, distort, wave, it'll add it as a smart filter that I can always go back and adjust. Now I did a whole tutorial on the wave distort filter previously on my channel and I have been playing around with it some more and I can't believe I didn't show you guys more on the square type of wave. I just kind of showed you guys the sine waves. And with the square type of wave, you can get some really cool line separations and splitting glitch effects that kind of resemble a lot of stuff that I've tried to make in previous tutorials with some more complicated methods. So I'll link all those related tutorials at the end of this video or in the description. But let's check out this wave distort filter on the square type mode. So when you're in this window, you can see a little bit of a preview of what your image is gonna look like. And I just have everything set to kind of zero for now. So let's kind of test out and experiment what things happen when we play around with the different wavelengths. So in the wavelength, you have minimum and maximum. And when you turn up the maximum, you can see kind of the wavelength expand, but you can't really tell what's going on because I don't have any amplitude on that wave. So let's turn up the amplitude maximum as well. And now the scale, how far apart horizontally or vertically do you want things to split? So if I want to do some vertical splitting, you can see I can do that and already you can see what a cool effect that is and you can even randomize it a little bit by clicking this button to get different unique effects. Also with the undefined areas section here it just tells Photoshop when you reach the end do you want to just stretch those pixels to reach the end or do you want to wrap them around the other side. I like using repeat edge pixels when you're going for these pixel glitchy and stretched effects. So I'll press OK real quick just to show you a basic one of the square split. So you can see how cool that is. It takes different line and square chunks and splits everything up. And this is just a subtle use of this effect. You can get way more extreme with the glitch. So like I said earlier, since we were working with smart filters, I can just double click back on that wave and we can go back and adjust things. So let's see what happens if I turn the number of generators up. So let's turn them up to three and press okay. So you can see that creates even more splits in the middle. And this is exactly kind of the effect that I did a tutorial on previously using clipping masks and layer duplication. And it's kind of really cool to do it this way instead a lot quicker. So I'm gonna go back and experiment a few more. So if you turn the number of generators up, that just adds more and more distortion. Also, you can play around with turning the minimum wavelength up and the scale up and down to choose how sliced up you want things to be. So if you want things to be not too sliced up, you could just keep things under 5%. Or if you want the horizontal slicing instead of vertical, you can just pull the horizontal slicing up and press OK. Let's see how that looks instead. And I really enjoy this type of kind of line or pixel type of glitching. And you can use it in combination with a lot of the other different type of color glitching and different tutorials I've used in your own projects to create some really unique effects. And this is something that would take a long time to achieve with clipping masks and layer duplication. But with the wave filter on the square mode, you can get these really clean lines of separation that I enjoy in this style in just one filter. So you could keep it subtle or really destroy your photo like this and then use different layer masks and blending modes to blend things into your original layer and create a complete project. So if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it and check out the previous tutorial I made on the wave filter if you missed it. And definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching once again and I'll see you next time.